Buying lamb at the supermarket can be quite expensive. Raising sheep for meat is one of the easiest and most affordable ways to grow your own meat. This year, we raised six lambs for meat on a rented pasture. This is a breakdown of all of our costs for the year. We were actually very limited on what we could do on our current rental property. We have limits on how many animals we can have, fencing that is falling over, and a pasture full of sage Russian rocks rather than grass. In spite of all that, we still were able to raise much of our own meat this year. We did it by growing chickens on our own property and renting a small pasture for the sheep. We ended up sharing the pasture with a friend who also has sheep and splitting the cost. So our total pasture rent was just $25 a month. The cost breakdown was six lambs at $50 each, pasture rent for six months at $25 a month, and shearing at $10 a sheep for $60 total. So that came to $510. We found pasture on a bulletin board at our local grocery store. It was two and a half irrigated acres with a creek and some trees for shelter. The grass supported our six lambs plus 20 of our friends for the entire summer. We had to shop around a bit to find lambs at an affordable price. Some were $150 to $200, but we finally found some younger ones for $50 each. We brought them home at a little over a month of age. The smaller sheep were easy to transport in the back of an SUV and much more affordable. Older lambs would have yielded a bit more meat in the fall, but probably not enough to justify spending three times as much. Our sheep did not have to be sheared before butchering, but we chose to do so because we didn't want their beautiful wool to go to waste. As far as meat grows, we haven't found a breed yet that we didn't like, but when it comes to raising our own, Icelandic are our preference. The pictures show a mixed flock of Icelandic and Frisian lambs. The Icelandic have a more concave face shape, and most have small horns. Their wool gets much longer than the Frisian, often dragging on the ground by late summer. Both breeds are dual purpose, historically used for both milk and for meat. Icelandic sheep are very hardy, resistant to parasites, and can go out on pasture on their own at a young age. Overall, they are a very low maintenance breed. Their beautiful wool is soft and reaches a suitable length for spinning when they're young. Icelandic sheep were traditionally raised in cold climates where they were butchered when the summer grass was gone, typically at six months of age or even younger. I'll talk more about the age for butchering in a minute, but first I want to go over deworming. Like most animals, sheep can get worms. There are commercial dewormers available, but overworming can make the parasites resistant to dewormers, causing more problems in the long run. An experienced sheep keeper can tell by looking closely at the sheep's eyes whether they are anemic, a sign of parasite overload. I deworm my sheep with a syringe filled with homemade paste, the same stuff I give my horses. It consists of pumpkin seeds, molasses, raw garlic, and cloves, ground together in a blender. I add water if needed to achieve a paste consistency. I administer two tablespoons for a 75 pound lamb. This home remedy is inexpensive and seems to be effective. Unlike chemical dewormers, it can be used right before butchering. Although there's no need to shear when raising sheep for meat, our Icelandics had beautiful soft wool in a beautiful combination of colors. As a spinner, I definitely did not want the wool to go to waste. I paid a professional shearer $60 to shear my flock. I washed and sold three of the fleeces for a total of $72 and was left with three for my own use. We butchered our lambs when the pasture ran out. They were not quite seven months old and around 80 pounds live weight. Butchering at a younger age gives you a delicious, milder flavored meat. It's the difference between lamb and mutton. If you have access to pasture, you can certainly let your sheep get larger before slaughter. I found that most animals taste better when they've been on pasture rather than hay, so I prefer to slaughter before the green grass runs out. Sheep yield around 35% of their live weight in edible meat. So a 100 pound lamb will give you about 35 pounds of meat. After about 125 pounds of live weight, this ratio actually starts to go down. Most experienced sheep keepers try to butcher when the sheep is under 125 pounds for the best yield and the best tasting meat. This was the first year we've slaughtered our own sheep. The rising cost of hiring a butcher made it not worth it and since some of our local butchers have gone out of business, no one even had an opening for us. 
In our area, the going rate to butcher a sheep is around $130. Our 80 pound sheep yielded about 30 pounds each, so the slaughtering cost alone would have been over $4 a pound. We normally butcher our own chickens and turkeys, so do have some experience, just not with lambs. To learn the process, we watched YouTube videos. Bon Appetit has a great one. We actually found one of my husband's co-workers who had worked at a butcher shop and was willing to come over. He walked us through cutting up the first sheep. As hard as it sounds, it really wasn't bad. The slaughtering, gutting, and skinning took us a few hours. We hung the sheep in a cool garage. The cutting process took a day and a half. We ended up keeping the ewe, the female that we raised, to breed to our friend's ram. The five males weighed around 80 pounds each and yielded 30 pounds of meat on average, plus scraps for dog meat. In total, we ended up with 150 pounds of usable meat. When cutting your own meat, you can choose which cuts to make. We were using a handsaw, which was time consuming. So we chose to cut most of the meat into roasts. We did a few steaks and chops, some ribs and lamb racks, stew meat, and about three pounds of ground lamb per sheep, plus some lamb bacon. Lamb has a high fat content, making it a good pork substitute when it comes to bacon, ham, and sausage. The lamb products that we got from our sheep included 150 pounds of meat, 20 pounds of dog meat, three wool fleeces, five sheep hides for tanning. Our total expenses were $510, subtracting the $72 from the three fleeces that we sold, which came to $438 total. Dividing that by 150 pounds of meat, it came to $2.92 a pound, compared to $9 to $18 a pound in the grocery store, depending on the cut. In the end, we grew 150 pounds of meat for a total of $2.92 per pound, with the free bonuses of the one sheep that we kept, 25 pounds of dog meat, wool for spinning, and five sheep hides to tan. If we'd slaughtered all six sheep, we would have gotten around 180 pounds of meat for the same expense, bringing the total cost to $2.43 a pound. If you're interested in raising sheep for meat, I'd highly recommend Story's Guide to Raising Sheep. It's really a great reference book to have on hand.